Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to our today's session. Our today's session will be regarding short cases. Uh, inshallah, we will explain the short cases, uh, especially in ophthalmology, uh, how to approach that. Uh, inshallah, um, we will we will go through that that pathway. Uh, in Afghanistan, there is a new uh, revolution, especially in uh, the field of uh, health, uh, and they have modernized the exams. Uh, so, uh, first, uh, I will speak uh, in Afghanistan national language. Like I said, I have been talking about the Afghanistan health system, which is a revolution, which is a very important revolution. Uh, comprehensive example number of exam that you have a key how are residents uh, uh, specialization program complete key packer key exam or key who are I exam you was a theoretical exam that the power key have a modern uh, system on a cheap but the new key was marriage the they are going to see for the key and you have a certain long case the short case the talks the no that it up uh, step that no the deal apart چه اکثریت در افغانستان در سایبان لدغ سیستم سرم دیر اشنا ندی نو ما لازم او گرده چه تا سر در دی بارا که اوچه معلومات شریکم زمانم دکتر تا وقار دی او زدل تا سینی رفتا مال جو ریزیدنٹ یم پاکستان حیوات کی برادران محترم ای ویدیو برای شماس کسانه که مثلا اگزام تخصص تخصص کمپلیت کرده باشه و بعدا میره به طرف کمپریهنسیو اگزام در اونجا مثلا اونه مو تردیشنل اگزام سیستم آل نیست حال سیستمش بسیار تغییر خورده که یک سیستم ستندرد است که اگزام لانگ کس شارت کس و تاکس است امروز ما شما بحث میکنیم در باره شارت کس کی چرا کم سیستمش چرا کم است و چرا کم بتوانیم که نمیره با آسانی دی کامیاب شویم اور شارٹ کیس ان افتمولوجی فرسٹ وی ویل نو ہاؤ دی ٹریڈیشنل میڈیسن ون ٹو ون اف دی پرسن بائی دی نیم اف میلر He made uh, a competency evaluation through performance. This is a Miller triangle or a Miller pyramid. For example, if we uh, the, the person is novice or in the apex of this um, triangle is a, an expert, how we can convert a novice person, a beginner person to an expert person? So, how we how we will evaluate that for example if we are uh, uh, just giving a traditional true or false mcqs he knows just about that concept if he can interpret uh, he, ca he can do interpretation or application of his knowledge into case presentation and he can make an essay or he can make an extended matching uh, type MCQs. So he has, uh, he has um, achieved a next step. For example, uh, we have uh, in MBBS here in Pakistan that they are giving us uh, a short essay regarding malaria, signs, symptoms, and they are asking the patient is presented with this, this symptoms, and this, this signs, what is your diagnosis? So this is, an, uh, this is a not a simple MCQs. It is a next level uh, MCQs, which is the second one. So as you know, uh, after passing uh, uh, exam uh, here in MBBS, uh, they, are, they have VIVA exam, which is the OSCE exam. You have to demonstrate uh, your learning via simulations, which is called OSCE exam here. And you have to show your competency that, for example, you know uh, visual acuity theoretically, and you have to show how you how you are doing visual acuity practically. This is the next step of the uh, performance. And uh, the highest 
step is does so performance integrated into practice for example through direct observation it is called workplace based assessment for example we have here in residency uh, we are uh, dripping the patient our professor and our senior they are observing us you are doing according to the standard or according to the rules and regulation or not so now uh, wpba which is workplace based assessment it is now must uh, in all trainee or postgraduate resident if they want to appear in their intermediate module exam or imm exam they have to they have to do uh, uh, these uh, WPBA workplace based assessment and record in their online portal, especially in CPSP. So um, uh, I'm very glad, and this is this was a very a good initiative in Afghanistan health system, and uh, inshallah, it will standardize our health system in the future. So now we are coming to our short cases uh, how we will prepare and how we will approach through that so there are primarily four domains that need to be focused in order to pass the short and long case in mcps fcps or ms exam what are the what are these four uh, domain to focus uh, to pass the exam these are knowledge for example you should have a clinical ophthalmology knowledge number two you should have clinical assessment of the case like history and examination and also you have to present the patient like verbal expression of the patient detail and number four time management if you have these four qualities in your short case for example you have a good knowledge you have uh, taken a good history and examination you have done and you have presented verbally very good the patient in on time you have uh, uh, you have uh, managed the time uh, so you have passed the case so in short case and long case these are four domains you have to be careful regarding that so as in the ophthalmology there are four short cases uh, two from anterior segment and two from posterior segment in every short case there are uh, 10 minute time uh, five minute for examination and five minute for viva what will be the expectation of the examiner from you so every examiner um, you have to pick uh, all significant findings and reach your diagnosis and at least you have to give differential diagnosis and also you have to elaborate that what to do next other examination or investigation you have to you have to explain during viva and also at the end you have to outline your management plan so what we what is your management plan so in a nutshell um, uh, there will be five typical question of viva in every viva questions uh, especially here um, on slate lamp there will be a patient uh, the command will be do the anterior segment examination you have to not ask any question from the patient and you have to follow the command and uh, for example he will ask you do the posterior segment examination so you will you are not allowed to ask the patient uh, the uh, the question from the patient and uh, he will give you the command like this uh, do the right eye posterior segment examination then you have to uh, do you have to be very wise and uh, you have to use your clinical knowledge and uh, you have to assess uh, the patient and also at the end you have to present good uh, verbally uh, good the pay uh, you have to present the patient uh, findings and also uh, within the time you have to present so five typical uh, question will be describe the finding he will ask you what what you have described 
what you have seen describe the finding what is your most likely diagnosis what is your differential diagnosis what investigation will you perform you will perform in this uh, particular case and how you will manage this patient these are five typical question in every short short case so if you have answer for these short cases so you are passed so these are assessment uh, forum for short case uh, from cpsp so at the superior part you can appreciate there is uh, you have to write uh, which subject which center which case number candidate role number date everything that you have to write and uh, there are some instruction for examiners you can uh, read here and uh, there are some criteria for example in clinical examination scales when you are examining the patient they are the examiner they are observing you there one examiner and there is another co-examiner they are observing you uh, observe professional manners he is uh, examining the patient in professional manner and perform proper and relevant clinical examination according to structural instruction given for example he is asking you to do the right eye examination you are doing the left eye so it is not allowed and applies clinical methods systematically and appropriately so if you if you are doing good so uh, for the excellent you will take uh, you you have to uh, achieve 30 awards for good 24 for adequate 18 for uh, inadequate 12 for for poor six so if you have achieved six so you are failed so in all these parameters so if you have achieved six so you have failed this short case in discussion when you are uh, doing viva with the with the uh, examiner give the correct findings with logical interpretation justify the diagnosis every of every these things they have a points or uh, a marks and and also you have to suggest appropriate and relevant investigation and management plan including recent advances <coughs> sorry so at the end you uh, the examiner should uh, sign and stamp uh, the this sheet so actually it is not a secret uh, if you achieve these expertise during exam what is the expectation of the examiner you can pass the exam and also for example this is one of the uh, short case uh, i will show you what is the uh, examiner so the, com the command from the examiner will be in this case uh, do the anterior segment examination so uh, his um, after uh, your examination with slit lamp uh, the viva question from the examiner will be what is your diagnosis what is the differential diagnosis what are the different etiologies of this condition what investigation will you perform and how will you manage the, this patient so these are five typical questions so the answer of question number one is what is your diagnosis diagnosis is, is calcific band keratopathy and uh, the answer for the second question is what is your what is the differential diagnosis the differential diagnosis will be corneal scar corneal abscess spheroidal corneal degeneration bacterial keratitis and fungal keratitis and uh, the answer for the question number three what are the different etiologies of this condition uh, this is a corneal degeneration uh, which can result from calcium deposition in the anterior corneal stroma and Bauman layers uh, changes begin uh, in the three o'clock and nine o'clock in the horizontal meridian in the inter in the interpalpebral zone uh, which is exposed to them environment and uh, these uh, this has uh, multiple causes uh, uh, like uh, chronic ocular inflammation uh, silicon oil in the eye hypercalcemia primary hereditary band keratopathy 
age related idiopathic band keratopathy chronic uh, chronic exposure to vaporous uh, preservative and also urate deposition in gout or hyperuricemia then the question of the examiner will be what investigation will you perform investigation it is a band keratopathy it is due to uh, increased level of uh, calcium so i have to advise the calcium level in the blood and also magnesium phosphate blood urea nitrogen and uric acid in the patient and uh, how will you manage this patient uh, treatment of the patient you have to give them a uh, treatment plan uh, like uh, first of all you can uh, observe uh, with observation like with lubricant eye drops and ointments in patient with foreign body sensation in severe cases you have to uh, you can remove mechanically remove the epithelium uh, with calcium scalpel blade uh, calcium you have to remove with scalpel blade and also you can uh, apply edta 3% or 4% uh, for 10 to 60 minutes and also you ha you can uh, you have to irrigate with saline and uh, also apply antibiotic ointment and uh, post op topical antibiotics and frequent follow up until epithelium has completely healed so this is the complete scenario if you have uh, debate with the examiner in this way so you have passed this uh, short case so this is a uh, uh, example number two uh, in which uh, this will be a patient or this will be a photograph in the exam and they will ask you uh, this is a one year old child uh, brought to OPD with complaint of white reflex in the right eye or in the left eye so they will ask you what is your diagnosis uh, you have to say that uh, uh, there is leukocoria uh, based on the patient uh, age it, it may be retinoblastoma and uh, they will ask you what is your differential diagnosis in differential diagnosis you can give multiple uh, options like um, a cataract a toxocariasis Coats disease PHPV which stands for uh, persistent hyperplastic primary vitreous and uh, retinopathy of prematurity retinal detachment familial exudative vitreous retinopathy retinal choroidal coloboma and myelinated nerve fibers or toxoplasmosis so they will ask you uh, sorry they will ask you regarding investigation what investigation you will uh, advise for the patient uh, you have to say i will uh, advise uh, ultra b scan or ultrasound ultrasonography uh, uh, to find intralesional calcification with high internal reflectivity and acoustic shadowing in case of retinoblastoma i have to advise a ct scan but in this age it is not advised because of developing uh, secondary malignancies and i have uh, you can advise mri to look for intracranial spread and also genetic testing so sometimes uh, they will ask you from the um, cl uh, classification international classification of retinoblastoma uh, and also they will ask you at the end uh, for, from the what is the treatment the treatment is a multidisciplinary approach like chemotherapy uh, intravenous chemotherapy like uh, carboplatin, etoposide. Um, these are to be given three to six cycles depending on the grade of retinoblastoma, selective ophthalmic uh, artery infusion, and also intravitreal uh, melaflan for vitreous seeding. And also, we can advise for the patient transpapillary thermal therapy, uh, we can advise for the patient cryotherapy, brachytherapy external beam radiotherapy and at the end uh, which is the most um, uh, approachable and uh, we are also performing in most cases this which is enucleation it is very really the oldest and most effective treatment uh, it is curative for intraocular retinoblastoma and uh, it, it is also the treatment of choice uh, for advanced uh, uniocular disease or worse eye bilateral cases if the, the patient has bilateral cases we are doing uh, there is no 
option without inoculation we are doing inoculation in both eye or if the patient has unicular uh, retinal blastoma we are doing inoculations at the end uh, there are some advice um, to pass easily uh, your short case complete uh, these uh, your uh, examination within three minutes uh, you need uh, practice for reflex to build in OPD and uh, when you have diagnosed uh, the patient prepare the findings uh, in the last two minutes uh, when you are uh, debating or uh, uh, preparing for viva and also you have to find your differential diagnosis also when there is a um, short case uh, in each short case there has some reason so you have to find uh, the, uh, the findings or diagnosis when you complete your examination then uh, make a plan for that uh, if you have not reached the diagnosis in some uh, short cases then uh, explain your finding and give your differential diagnosis and uh, take permission from the examiner to uh, to do the examination of the fellow eye and you have to be polite during your exam and if you know the topic well uh, start viva uh, with the patient early if because of that you will achieve a good grades and out of four short cases if you pass three short cases then you have passed the exam so there is uh, just one margin of failing and pass if you have passed uh, three of that so you are passed the exam thank you from your time and attention and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this and inshallah in the future we will uh, discuss on the long cases also Ya Allah, Paman, Allah Hafiz.